Okay. So first up, just leaving your ranch on the top of the Slimepedia list, we have the Pinks. No one should have trouble finding these guys, I promise. They're literally everywhere. They eat anything, and they're the best ones to start off with. But if you're not really feeling them, you can just easily find a tabby and a uh, rock slime. Alright, number two on the list is the rock slime. And um, if you usually just follow the path, they're pretty easy to find. Then we'll straight this way. This is typically where I find them. Oh, there's one now. They typically pop out right in front of the quarry. Alright. Okay. Number three on the list is the tabbies. I usually find them on the way to the rocks, but I usually go on this side path because there's a lot most of the time here. There's one, three, four. Oh, there comes a whole bunch. See? There they are. Alright. And this spot is here on the map. I'll start showing the ones on the map that are uh, a bit farther out. Okay, now on the list is the phosphor slime. These slimes only come out at night time. So, you'll just have to be walking around and looking- Oh, there's one now! Oh, now he's got fat, but he's still here. Ow. Yeah, they just appear random. You can usually just find them near the rocks and everything else. Here we have the entrance to the mine. Same area I showed you where the rocks are, but this area is where we're going to find the rats and a whole lot of other things. These are the part phosphorus and the feral slime. Everyone should know what those are. Here's where you'll need a key though, so if you're just starting out, you'll need to find a gordo. See him from here. Oh. All right, everyone. Next on the list is the boom slime. He can be found. Well, it can be found in this big area here. Just all around here. Normally I find them right on the way in. You do need a key to get in here, just like the quarry. And you can find them in the quarry too. I just find them easy to find here because there's one right there. And there. Is he on a phosphorus line here? Yeah. Well, you can find them like right on the entrance of this jungle. In the moss blanket, to be precise. Yeah, there you go. Now we move on to the honey slimes. Honey slimes are pretty easy to find. I normally find them past the parts with the feral. In this big open flowery area. There's some right there. Most of them like to tease with the pinks and stuff, but this is where you get the pure ones. I like having them around here. Because the uh, purple is really nice. I'll open the map and show you the section here. Easy. Alright. Now moving to the puddle slimes. Normally you can find them at the beginning where I showed you the boom slime, which would be right there in that water. But here I find is like the best spot because of the river. And you can also find them in the quarry too. There's one now. And these ones are really friendly and shy. They'll even blush when they get the water in the really cute. But this is where I find my puddles for the time. Now we have the slime. slime is in the quarry. Right through this path. You should see a little cave entrance here. 
and they'll be down here in the bottom. Oh, there they are now. I love the uh, secret style color of them, but I do like the original color too. They're like the uh, rock slimes, but cooler. Because they leave little crystal trails. So, this is one of the harder slimes. The hunter slime is usually really hard to find on its own in a pure form. But if you want to see the section, this is where I mostly find mine. The main way I go and get them is just to uh, feed the uh, Hunter Gordo, which I'll put to... Well, you, there'll be a timestamp for it. And you should be able to find it yourself. It's normally on this one. I'll even just mark a little section if you don't want to watch the Gordo part of the video. It will be right here on top of this. But I don't have any regular hunter in the area, I think. You can mostly just catch these ones, or just take their parts. But, like I said, the only real way to get a pure one for me is just the Gordos, or if you're really lucky, because they do spawn in the wild. Alright, everyone. Now we are on the Quantum Slime. The Quantum Slime is in the ruins. And they're pretty easy when you get through. You can just run through here. Down. Find the switch. Right. Yep, I did. Go through here. And there's a golden! Wow, okay. Little troll. Of course he shows up in my bag, he's empty. Anyway. Go around. Through the ruins. You should see them. They're not uncommon. Get through. Up we go. And... Oh, that's a quantum maybe. There's a regular quantum. Well, these guys just flicker in and out of reality. They're pretty cool. But they're only found here in the ruins. Okay, for this next part, I decided to put all three of these together because they're usually all found together. Um, we got the uh, devilish ones, the little tornado guys. Uh, there's the mosaics. There. Alrighty, now where's your tinkled cousin? These guys are all unlocked when you release the uh, water. There they are, there's the tinkle. All very cute creatures. Only in the glass desert. To get to the glass desert, you need to go up through the ruins and up to here. Then you'll be able to get your way into here. Okay, so for our last segment in the uh, glass desert, we have to wait for a fire storm to appear. Just to see our fire slimes, which should be the last one. Just gotta wait for the little geysers.
everyone. The last slime, well, they're not the last ones yet. These three are locked behind NPCs. First of them is the glitch slimes, which was not in my older video, and I got a lot of comments asking about it. Number two, silver, quick silvers. And the last one is the saber tooth slimes. Those three are locked behind NPCs that you have to work for for a little bit until they invite you over. The first one is Victor. He's the one who invites you over for the uh, glitch slimes. Next is Ortiz, who invites you over for the saber teeth. And the last one is Mochi Miles, who invites you over to do the Quicksilvers. Now, I'm going to show you where those areas are. Back here is the Quicksilver teleporter. How this works, you go through, you get this fancy gun, and you race through the Quicksilvers. It's pretty fun. It's just a little racetrack and you run around. It's great. I love it. Alright. Next we'll go to the Sabertooth area. Alright, now here's our kids' area. This is like a safari for the Sabertooth slimes. You can bring back the saber teeth plorts for yourself, and you can make your own, but you can't have a pure one. Now, he gives you soil that helps your crops and stuff, so I think it's really great to help him out and to get the saber teeth anyway. Alright, last one is at the lab. This is where the uh, glitch slimes are. And so many people asked me where they, what the last missing slime was because I accidentally left them out when I first made that video. So if we go back here to the lab, and boom. After you do some things, you will be invited over here, and you have to go into this VR world to collect glitch slimes, which is pretty fun. I really enjoy the glitch slime VR world. It's amazing. And that's how you get all three of those. Well, we have made it to the end of the slime segment. The last two slimes I don't really have any footage for, but these two in particular are the most annoying because they show up everywhere. And it's random when they do. And they're just, they show up at like the most inconvenient times when you don't have anything in your bag. Of course, I'm talking about the gold slime and the lucky slime. One gives you money, the other one gives you golden plorts. Which are both really good. And so, but they're really hard to find. They just always seem to show up at the worst times.